You know, Facebook uh, can be a really bad thing. Um, most of you listening to this know that. I mean, you can turn, you can see all the negative, you can see people just pouring out all their problems, wanting attention. Uh, you can see people throwing other people under the bus. It can, and not to mention all of the um, temptations and things that, that we see in videos and different things along those lines. But I wanna tell you something as well. Facebook, just like any other thing in life, is what you make of it. Uh, and, and that goes for Twitter and, and, and all of social media. It's what you make out of it. If you choose to speak life, if you choose to put life uh, in front of you and, uh, and, and show it for others to see, it becomes a tool for God to use. The Lord told me years ago, uh, don't get caught up in the negativity but use, use Facebook in particular as a tool for ministry. One of the ways that he did that was a very simple thing that he told me to do. He said, Curtis, I want you to ask one question every so often. I, I used to do it more than I do now. I've been busy lately, but I need to get back to it. But that one question has been so powerful. The Lord's used it in ways that I never could have dreamed of. Uh, and that question is, how can I pray for you today? Uh, I put that out every now and then. It's a simple thing, but God has used it and blown my mind in, in how he's used it. Uh, there have been people that have sent me messages to say the, the things that the, the Lord has done through my asking that question. One, uh, a friend of mine um, was in a really difficult situation. I didn't know it at the time. I just put that question out and, and it led to a conversation to find out that she was at the point of suicide. Uh, and if I had not put that question out, uh, who knows what might have happened. But God used that particular thing as a tool, an instrument for the appropriate time, the appointed time. Uh, and so I want to encourage you today to begin putting your focus on other people. That's one of the things I love about prayer, uh, because if I can get focused on myself, I can get focused on my problems, I can get in that pity party, uh, and, and just say, woe is me, and, and why is everybody else being blessed and not me? I can do that. You can do that. But when we begin to focus on other people, the Lord begins to do a work in us. Um, Job 42.10 says that the Lord restored Job's fortunes and his losses when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. So, uh, you know, when Job went through a really difficult time, but the beginning of the turnaround for him was when he put the focus on other people. He began praying for his friends and the Lord began to bless him. Your blessing may be right beyond yourself. You've got to focus on other people and the Lord's blessings may begin to flow through you. Uh, also, James chapter 5 verse, verse 16 says, Therefore confess your sins one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. So our healing, physical and emotional, uh, can come through praying for others. When we take the focus off of us, it's dying to ourself and putting the focus on others. So here's my challenge for you today. I, if you're listening to this, uh, and, and you receive this message, then what I want you to do is I want you to put, I want you to share this message on your Facebook, uh, and, and I want you to then, on a separate thing, I want you to post the question, how can I pray for you today? But there's another catch. One of the things that the Lord told me to do is when you t say, how can I pray for you today? When someone s tells you something to pray for, you don't just say, I'm praying or I'll be praying. You type out a prayer. It doesn't have to be a long one. It can be very short. Whether it's in a private message or whether it's in, in a public comment, you type out a, a prayer for them to let them know that you did do that. Uh, because sometimes we have great intentions, but we fall short. So that's my challenge for you today. Uh, and, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to say, how can I pray for you today? If you need prayer, uh, send me a message and let me know. God is on the throne. Jesus is coming back soon. It's time to get our focus off of ourselves and into the kingdom and upon others. It's going to be an awesome day, and I'm excited to hear the good reports that are coming. Have a good one.